Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope you're well and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. In today's reading, we're going to be taking a look at who has a crush on you. So I thought that this would be a kind of, you know, a fun reading. I think we haven't done one of those in a while. Um, so I wanted to take a look at who around you has a crush on you at this particular moment. Now, of course, you can use one one pile, you can choose all of them. Um, but our goal here is to sort of see who we do have that's interested in us right now. Um, and also if they're going to take any sort of action. So we, we are also going to sort of look at that as well. Uh, we will have three piles to choose from today. The first pile here, we have the Yamaya statue. The second pile will be the Saki cup. And the third pile will be the Nest Indigo Perfume. If you did need some more time, you can always go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Hello, hello, pile one. If you chose the Yamaya statue, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. I hope you guys are having a great day. Just going to go ahead here and connect to your energy so that I'm best able to channel for the purposes of this reading. So Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number one who chose the Yamaya statue? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile one so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep pile one safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We love and appreciate you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I feel like you guys could have visited a bakery together. You could have baked this person something. There's like eating involved. This person could really like to eat. They could work in the food and beverage industry. I'm getting a wolf energy around this person. So they could be a lone wolf, maybe a little bit scared of commitment. I also feel like one or both of you has gone through like a pretty significant breakup and there's almost like this fear of like, am I going to be a replacement? This person has a nice butt. I'm also seeing a lot of peppers. So this person could like spicy food or they could be spicy themselves, if you get what I mean. Your spirit guides have talked to you about this person, I feel. This person's name could be Darren. I'm hearing Darcy, so someone here could um, like Jane Austen. Reed. Elizabeth, Sarah, Sutton, Sean, Samuel, Sammy, Ethan. <laughs> I'm hearing Drezzabella. I don't know if that's a, is that from a Disney movie? <laughs> this person could like to eat fish or again, I'm getting like, um, maybe they're from Alaska. I just keep seeing salmon specifically, which is weird. Okay, let's tap in. Who's got a crush on pile number one, please? Who? Who's got a crush? We have the king of coins in reverse, okay? There's a court card right away. We have the sun. We have the nine of cups also in reverse. Dang, okay. We have the devil. Okay, um, very interesting energy. Okay, I'm getting one specific person coming through. This person could have earth energy in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on the Capricorn or Leo placements, or those time frames could have been significant here. I will say that this person is not feeling very good about themselves at this particular time. I feel like they feel like they don't have very much to offer. They could be struggling financially right now. And they kind of feel blocked energetically, especially with that, the sun, the king of pentacles in reverse and also the nine of cups in reverse. Wait, this isn't a nine, it's a six of cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your past. You already know this person. This person may feel like you don't want to talk to them. They may also feel like they have to work on their own BS before they come back in and connect with you. I do feel for some of you, this person struggles with addictions. If you have been intimate with this person before, they really think about that a lot. And I feel like they are very, very attracted to you. Um, and they want very badly to have another intimate moment with you. 
I think this person could be burying themselves in addictive patterns right now, trying to kind of get their brain off of you, but none of it's working. They just feel very, very drawn to you still. And I feel like that's something that they don't know how to shake. Like they're just wondering and feeling very much emotional about the connection with you. Will they take action here? We have the page of coins. Yes, I do think this person is going to take action. No matter what time you guys are watching this, I feel they will take action in the next earth sign season. So if you guys are watching this at inception when I'm filming, um, I feel like the time frame will be Capricorn season, which is December into January. This person's got some growing up to do. They know this as well. They are very aware that they need to kind of correct their behavior. Tell me what else we need to know, please. Who's got a crush on pile one? We have rising above. I see only beauty and grace. Yeah, this person, they have some things going on though. I do feel that. I feel like they kind of feel blocked, like they're not really able to be the version of themselves that they want to be for you. They could be struggling again with addiction or just some sort of like heavy energy where they feel like, okay, I, I can't approach pile one unless I have this figured out. Like it's not fair for me to do that. We have cultivating prosperity. I told you this person's struggling with their finances. I feel like they feel they want to offer you something, but they're not going to come in without anything. They need to have that sort of financial backing is what they think. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. Yeah, this person's been um, trying to kind of cultivate a more healthy energy, I think, for themselves and for, for this connection as well. I think that they have been maybe very materialistically focused or they could just be trying to crush some goals. I mean, we have nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, right? But I do feel like in the past, this person could have prioritized their money more so than, you know, other things. They do definitely feel a lot of regrets over that. Tell me what else, please. Who's got a crush on pile number one? I'm striving to be a better person of myself. A better, sorry, I'm striving to be a better version of myself. Yeah, like I said, I just get this feeling that this person, they want to change in order to approach you. Like they don't feel like they can approach you in this particular way. They just don't feel good enough. So I think one of the things this person is working on is getting to a better space. This person, they feel very much like they would like to impress you. And so I kind of feel like they're not going to stop until they kind of reach some sort of abstract goal going through a lot right now. I need space and time to gather my thoughts. Yeah, I think for many of you guys, you've not talked to this person in a long time. And this person is acknowledging that. They know that they've kind of been a little bit MIA. I do feel like they have a lot going on. And I also feel like they they feel they must take it, like figure out what they need to fix first and foremost before they are, you know, pushing back into your life. Like this person, they really do value you a lot and they don't want to come in without much to offer. What else? We have chaos, difficult and tough times, feeling burdens about life events and stress. This person, they're not really doing very well, I think. And I feel like they want to be better. They're hoping that if they get their act in order, that you will then consider them. I also feel like you could see this person as an agent of chaos for yourself. Like you could feel like this person constantly adds this like weird energy in your life. I think another thing that this person feels is like they don't want to continue to add this chaos. They feel like if I'm coming into pile one's life again, I better be coming correct because I don't want to contribute anything further to this. Like I, I don't want to continue to make them feel like 
they don't matter to me. So this person's really trying to work on themselves. We have new money, entrepreneur, entertainment, work, lotto, invention, investment. I think this person feels as if they need to get some sort of financial organization going on first before they are able to sort of connect with you again. They have a lot of guilt about this, um, but they're very much striving to, to be better. They are. They're very much striving to kind of get their act into order. And I feel like that's something that you need to know about this person. Like they, they want to do a good job. And they want to impress you as well. So this person could be trying to figure out how to do that or they want to come back in and offer you something that is very like impressive or that you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe you did that. That's so cool. I'm so into you. Like that is kind of the vibe I'm getting. Interesting. So that's what I have pile one. Very interesting. I will say this person is, you know, very much hoping that you will take them back. Like even if they have created chaos in your life, I feel this person feels like, well, if I just apologize to them, they'll just take me back, right? Like it's not that big of a deal. Like that's kind of this person's energy. They still feel like you will just decide to forgive them. And that's kind of what they're hoping for as well. I do feel like this person, they can, they can figure this out, but they just, they need to be very consistent. And sometimes I think this person kind of drops off. Okay. Hello, pal too. If you chose a sake cup, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day. It's such a pleasure to connect with you. Just going to go ahead here and dive right into your energy so that I'm best able to channel. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pal number two who chose the sake cup? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Pal 2 so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Pal 2 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. Thank you for protecting them and thank you for coming forth with these messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I feel like the person who's coming through is very funny. They could be quite traditional here as well in, in what they consider, you know, their roles. Um, this person could travel a lot for work or they could just be constantly on the road. For some of you, this person works for the government. They could be quite wealthy. This person could like music. Something might, um, there could be a big like anniversary or event around Halloween. This person knows that they've disappointed you. They're a very good networker. I'm hearing the name Anthony, Neil, Naya, Teresa, Chris, Aaron, Ophelia, Ollie, Isabel, Isabella, Andrew, Patrick. Okay, let's tap in. Pile number two, please. Who's got a crush on pile two? Who's got a crush on pile two? We have the tower. Dang, okay, there was definitely some sort of cataclysmic event here. Who's got a crush on pile two, please? We have the four of swords. We have enlightenment. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, this feels like one person coming through. Whoever this person is, there was some sort of major tower event. I think for many of you, you guys are not in contact with this individual. They feel like they're not really talking. You guys are not really talking to them. Um, this person's sort of on the periphery of your life. Whatever happened here, I feel like it forced this person through a period of um, immense transformation. And I think one of the things that this person has been struggling with is how to create more balance after a period of intensity. Like whatever happened between you and this person, it felt very, very intense. And it sort of spurred this person on a road to enlightenment. I think this person could have been very immature. 
it could have been very like physically sexually minded like that could have been what this person was really focusing on and this was you know a form of disappointment for you you guys could have been like you know what i'm over this i think you force this person to go through an awakening this person has grown up or they've changed since you've last seen them will this person take action we have the seven of swords in reverse. This person's not ready to take action yet because they know that they've messed up a lot. For some of you, you could have caught this person cheating or there was deception and betrayal here. And this person just doesn't know how to talk to you about that or they don't know how to like, I don't know how to put this, but like um, apologize. I feel like this person, they want to talk to you because obviously they have a crush on you but they they feel scared that you're not going to want to talk to them back or you'll be disappointed in them or disgusted in them we have igniting courage i am strong valiant and courageous and we have embracing the future i step into the future with an open heart yeah i think this person still feels like they need some time they could also be feeling like, okay, I have to figure out how to go through my period of enlightenment first before pile one, pile one, pile two will even consider me. So this is going to be what I'm focusing on. I'm going to focus on getting my act together, figuring out my BS, and then I'm going to try to come towards pile number um, two. For some of you, this person could have tried to like literally forget about this connection keep it in the past, but I feel like they were very much unable to do that because this person just feels like they had a lot of difficulty in getting away from this connection. This card fell out. It just says, yes, I was cheating. Okay, so for some of you, that might apply. Tell me pile, pile two, please, who's got a crush? Who's got a crush on pile two, please? I love variety, but there's something about you I just can't resist. Okay, and then we also have, I'm only staying here for my kids, nothing else. I'm making my way out. So again, there's third party energy all over this, right? For some of you, maybe this person has children elsewhere. I feel like this person has a wandering eye and you guys could have called this person out on that. You could have told them like, you know, you got to stop doing this. It's really inappropriate and it's making me feel sad. Like, I feel like you had to really lay down the law when it comes to this person. This person also feels like disappointed in themselves and stuck. And honestly, this could also be this person's karma, like to be in this kind of stuck energy because they have messed things up so much that they have to sort of sit and figure out how to, how to fix this and how to correct things. But I do think this person had a very kind of low, low vibration. And when you guys kind of came to that realization, you were like, you know what? Okay, I'm good. I'm going to move into a different direction. And I think that that's something that this person wants you to know. bad reputation another thing i feel about this person is that they have a bad reputation and i think that they're pretty aware of that they could also be embarrassed by their bad reputation i just feel in general like this person feels really messed up and like they're not sure how to fix th things with you yeah, we have soulmate here as well. Harmonious partnership, deep affinity, undeniable connection, kindred spirit. The thing is, I feel like this person, they still feel like you and them have a very, very strong connection, but they're very disappointed in their life. They're disappointed in how they kind of mess things up for you. I think that this person wishes that they had taken, you know, a different approach. And I also feel like at this point, you could have told this person, I'm not re really very interested in you um, because you're, you're just shitty. Like, I feel like this person has done some shitty things. As much as they would like to leap into the future, they have to correct what they've done first. 
The runner card also popped out here. It wasn't even supposed to be in this deck, but I am going to take it. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Yeah, this person could have tried to run away from you, you guys. You could have been like, you know, why are you acting so immaturely? Um, but this person, they have this energy of like, ignorance is bliss almost. And I do feel like they have tried to run away from you or they felt like it would be easier if they just tried to ignore the connection. However, that's not the way that it's been working because I feel like this person has still been, you know, really thinking about you quite a lot and they're having a hard time. Like, it's not like they were just able to run away. It's not that easy is what Spirit just said. I feel this person is being forced to sort of confront this connection and to confront, you know, what they've done here. So yeah, that's what I have piled to. Interesting. I feel like this person, you know, still has some growing up to do. So just be mindful. I wouldn't kind of like pop into this person's energy right away. Because they still feel to me like they have some significant work that they need to do. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Hello, Pow3. How are you? If you chose the Nest perfume, then this is your reading. Welcome. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for everything that you do. Thanks for being here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. Spirit, can you please help me to connect to the energy of pile number three who chose the Nest perfume? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for everything you continue to do. I ask that you continue to keep Pal 3 safe, protected, and guided throughout this day and throughout all of the days of their life. We ask that you continue to support them, guide them, and we just wanted to say a big thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this person has a lot of desire for you. I can feel that coming through right away. Some of you could work with this person. Okay, this person could be um, very into biology. They could like to read. They could wear a suit and tie for work. Could have given this person a mug or something ceramic this person has heartbreaker energy they could be quite logical maybe have air in their chart they smell good there's like layers and layers to this person they could be born in the chinese zodiac year of the pig this person could be really working on their finances i'm hearing the name seth Someone here could listen to Tiesto. This person could smoke weed. I'm hearing Greg. Gloria. Fabio. Don. Dominique. Darren. Finnegan. Okay. Serafina. Pile three, please. Who's got a crush? Who's got a crush on my pile threes? We have the seven of wands. Okay. This person could be culturally different than you. They could have some sort of a marked uniqueness. We have the fool. They could live at a distance as well. Eight of cups. You have eight of wands. Okay. This person could live at a distance from you. They could have Aries in their chart. I was also seeing um, devil, the devil card. So this person could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart as well. Maybe they have like an Aries sun, Capricorn moon. Maybe you guys do. That would be very interesting. Maybe one of you is an Aries, the other is a Capricorn. I feel here like there is some sort of distance between you and this person. I feel like this person um, could watch you from afar, especially online. They really, really like to do that. This person has a strong attraction to you. This person could have a dog or a pet. I don't think you guys talk very regularly, but this person may occasionally message you already. 
did I say there could be a life path eight, maybe born in August? Something could have happened in August, August 8th, Lionsgate portal. You could have been working to manifest this person. I feel like this person is very unique. They're different than kind of your usual type or they're just different in general than maybe what you thought you would end up with. This person has been, you know, through a lot and they've also gone on a lot of different um, adventures. I feel like this person is very, very interested in you because you represent something different. person reach out will they actually make a move maybe the seven of swords i do think this person will make a move but it won't be very direct i think this person they can just like say to you you know i like you hi you know do you want to move forward this person has like this weird energy of like not being direct at, at things like they tend to be a little bit underhanded so you can know this person's flirting with you but they might not um, make a move here. We have two sevens and two eights, so July and August could be significant here. Pile number three, please. Oh, I don't want this deck right away. I'm gonna use this one. This person could be very busy too, very, um, they have a lot going on. Pile three, please. Tell me about this person who's got a crush on pile three. We have sharing of yourself. I'm an incredibly generous being. Yeah, this person might want to. I do think they occasionally reach out to you. Maybe they have something here that they want to share with you. We have embarking on an adventure. I savor the wisdom of the wonders of the world. Yeah, I feel like there's some sort of geographical distance here. This person could travel a lot or that's what they value. They value traveling. They don't really value being very present here. They could be very like, again, absent-minded, maybe having a lot of things going on where they just don't feel very consistent. They want to run around. Um, I do think that this person, wherever they are in the world though, they do tend to think about you a lot person feels like you would make the perfect adventure buddy what else please pile number three who's got a crush i was hiding my true feelings from you because i was scared of commitment i didn't want to lose my freedom yeah i could see that i think this person does really value their freedom above all else like they really like to be able to do things at the drop of a hat like this is someone who can be very focused on themselves in that way. Again, you might've called this person out for being selfish or self-centered or annoying. Um, but I will say this person has a lot stronger feelings for you than what they let on. Yeah, we have, you might have abandoned me. I feel like this person has issues around um, feeling safe in relationships. They could feel like they've been hurt before Bottom of the deck we have, I miss making love to you. I will do anything just to hold you again. So for some of you, I feel like you have had intimate relations with this person. For others of you, I feel like, you know, maybe this person's just fantasizing about that, but um, they are the ones who are kind of creating this like blockage between you and you and them. We have breakthrough. I feel like this person has recently had some sort of a breakthrough though in their thinking. They could have come to some kind of major realization where they are all of a sudden seeing things a bit more clearly. I feel like this person feels like you and them have a lot of things that you need to talk about. So I would not be surprised at all if they reached out to you unexpectedly or out of the blue and were just trying to like communicate that with you. I think this person sees you as a very, very significant accompaniment to the, their life. Like they really feel like the two of you are still meant to be around each other. This 
person is stressed out about this. I do feel that. Yeah, we have honey trap, set up, bait and switch, ambush and catfish. Yeah, for some of you, this person could have been like acting one way and then doing something differently. For others of you, maybe you just talked to this person online. I do feel like they're trying to figure out how to get back into your life. But again, remember we have the seven of swords here. So this person may not necessarily be the directed person that you need them to be. Like they could be a little bit immature. I still feel like they have to grow up a little bit before you will decide to, you know, let this person into your life because they still feel like they primarily are thinking about their own needs, not necessarily what you need. So yes, that's what I have. Pile three, I hope you're well. I'm sending you a big hug, lots of love. Have a great day. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.